G'day fish keepers, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and today I thought we'd do a quick video looking at the difference between a neon tetras and cardinal tetras. So for a lot of you this information will be general knowledge, but for other people it won't be. We had a lot of people coming in and saying I want some neons while they're pointing at cardinals. So first of all let's have a quick look at the visual differences. So these are the cardinals here, blue on top, red underneath, the red line goes all the way through and the blue is almost like a little bit of an iridescent type colour, quite shiny even. Then we get to the neons, blue on top as well, red underneath, but as you can see the red line doesn't go all the way through on the neons compared to the cardinals. The blue itself isn't quite as shiny, isn't quite as iridescent, but it's still not bad. Body shape wise, the cardinals are a lot uh, sort of streamlined, longer and, and thinner. They do get a little bit bigger than the neons as far as length goes, but they're definitely a different shape. They're far more streamlined like a torpedo compared to the neon tetras. And then when we look at the neons, so the body is a lot higher bodied compared to the cardinals, not quite as streamlined. Bit of a bulkier looking fish, but they're a lot shorter in the body when they get full grown. Water conditions wise, they both like softer water, both can go to black water. Um, the cardinals, however, prefer to be on the slightly warmer side in the higher 20s. They don't do so well when they get in the lower 20s. Where the neons go the other way, they prefer to be in the lower 20s as opposed to the higher 20s. They don't do so well at that higher temperature. So neons are a really good option to go with things like corridors because they like being in the, the lower 20s as well. Where cardinals are a better option to go with things like discus and angelfish. Uh, but bear in mind with that, uh, discus and angelfish do like to predate on the cardinal tetras as part of their natural diet. They also go really well with things like German rams uh, because they prefer warmer waters as well. Feeding them are both pretty much the same. They both absolutely love small insects, small bugs. Uh, Daphnia, mice, shrimp, frozen brine shrimp, fresh brine shrimp, all that sort of stuff they'll absolutely love. Uh, both will take prepared flakes, both will take small micro pellets, they're really not difficult to feed, but to get the best out of them, live food goes really, really well for them. Known diseases, obviously, neons are pretty prone to neon tetra disease and all the sort of fungal and bacteria issues. Um, I've found that feeding them a diet of lots of live food seems to keep that away a little bit. Um, I know the theory is that they get prone to neon tetra disease due to inbreeding, but I question if part of that comes down to not having the proper diet and not having proper water conditions at the same time. And then when it comes to the cardinals, they don't tend to get uh, as many fungal or bacteria infections they absolutely can, they just don't tend to get it as often as the neons. However, they do seem quite prone to white spot and they also seem quite prone to uh, dying after travel. It's not their, one of their favourite things. Seems to be after the first sort of 10 days or so they calm down again, but prior to that, they can be a bit sketchy after uh, travelling, so they don't handle stress very well. But once they're sorted out in your aquarium, and uh, they're content, established, and stable, they're normally pretty good to go. Price-wise, Cardinals normally sell for around about $10. We sell ours for $10.99. Um, and then the Neon Tetras go for around about $5, $4 or $5. We sell ours for $4.99. I do believe you get a, a stronger, better fish on the Cardinal over the Neon Tetra. Uh, but sometimes the situation in the tank that you're trying to fill won't suit the Cardinal Tetra, so Neons are the options. Personally, I don't think either of them are very good fish to start off with. I don't really think either of them are beginner fish. Um, also, I don't think either of them are very good fish to put into a fresh tank. I think there's far better options out there if you're wanting tetras. Uh, once tanks are mature, been running, and well and truly established and cycled and that kind of stuff, then I think uh, neons and cardinals are a good option then, but not into the fresh and mature aquariums. I think you're kind of asking for trouble if you if you wanted to do that with neons and cardinals. So there we have it, a very quick breakdown on differences between neon tetras and cardinal tetras. I hope that has helped some people. Um, like I said, I know plenty of people come in and, and are talking about neons when they're talking to the cardinals. So uh, hopefully that helps a few people and, and will help you in your journey with fish keeping and working out which sort of fish that you wanted to keep in your aquarium. Have a good one team, happy fish keeping, catch you later.